Hello all and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to see an interesting topic. We will be comparing a three multi-agent frameworks, Crew AI, Langgraph and Autogen and we will be seeing how exactly these three frameworks are similar to each other or different to each other and which framework we should use to solve which use uh, to solve our use cases. Now as we all know that agentic AI is booming into the market and there is a lot of hype going around and uh, that is where a lot of agentic AI frameworks are getting evolved and uh, it is become very important or it becomes very necessary to understand these frameworks and uh, because whenever you are working into the organizations or whenever you are building any project these uh, framework matters a lot and uh, that's the reason uh, it is always better you should uh, thoroughly understand each framework and then select a framework wisely to solve your uh, particular use case. So let's start it with our uh, today's comparison. So first one we have on the list is the Langgraph. As we all know that Langgraph again is a very popular framework. All these three frameworks are very popular and all these frameworks support a multi-agent capability. So Langgraph is a subset of Langchain. As we all know that Langchain is a uh, organization which is working into the AML field. They are delivering a, delivering a very good solutions in order to help the community. And uh, all these three sources uh, services are open source services. So as these frameworks are open source, that is where there is a lot of competition going around in the market. And each framework is trying to uh, uh, prove themselves and uh, in order to grab audience attention they are trying to prove that how these frameworks are better than other frameworks so basically langgraph is depend on a dag kind of structure what exactly dag is dag is nothing but the directed cyclic graph so basically as you can see in the name itself you have graph meaning these langgraph agentic framework we need to define them in the form of graph so basically in the graph, we know that uh, graph has nodes and edges, right? So here, nodes meaning nothing but you can put it as agent or you can uh, mark that as tool. That's how the nodes behaves and edges is nothing but the communication that you can derive between these agents and tools. And as it is a multi-agent framework, so it becomes very uh, necessary to manage the conversation that is going around between or that is happening between the agent and uh, langra provides a very good com a very good framework in order to manage that conversation so whenever you have a task like uh, some conditions that if particular condition is true you should select this path if not you should select another path in those kind of workflows langra works very good moving to the next one crew ai again crew ai is a open source framework which is developed by the organization crew ai and uh, as its name suggests, Crew meaning the uh, group of agent. So that's how the name is given, group of agent. And the group of agents come together in order to uh, break a complex problem into simple problem statement and then solve by assigning individual agent to that. Now in uh, Crew AI frameworks is mostly suitable whenever you have a role based kind of task for example let's say you have a task where you want to read a document you want to summarize the document and you want to get approval for that document and that's how you can and later on you can publish the document so in these cases each agent has its fixed role in those cases your crew ai agent works very good where your individual agent has its individual functionality and it manages that functionality only it is uh, built in order to complete that functionality itself so in those cases crew ai agent works very good Moving to the next, we have a Autogen. Again, Autogen is an open source framework which is developed by Microsoft. And in Autogen, again, uh, it supports a very good uh, framework in order to build your custom agentic framework. So whenever you have a custom related task, let's say you have email sending task, let's say you have your regular, uh, let's say chart based uh, applications, or let's say you have regular uh, conversation type of uh, agents, uh, then uh, summarizer agent, research agent, then you can go ahead and use the crew AI or Langra filter services. But if you want to perform your custom task, then you should think about Autogen. Now custom task in the sense, let's say you have a uh, custom Python functions written, then in order to execute those functions, Autogen supports a very good dependency, like uh, it has a very good integration with tools. You can easily integrate Python functions as a tool and you can pass that to the Autogen and you don't need to manage those tools in integration or tool calling. So Autogen manages it very 
Autogen has a very good feasibility in managing those tools. So in those cases, like uh, whenever you have custom tasks, definitely we should think of Autogen as a uh, agentic framework. Also in uh, Autogen, uh, if you want any human input in between, uh, you let's say you have a built a agentic conversation and uh, even in some cases, let's say you want human feedback into the loop, then in those cases, Autogen works very good. If you want to build a reactive kind of framework, let's say one agent is asking questions to another agent, another agent is handing over that questions to third agent, it may be requesting human to uh, interrupt in between. So if you have such kind of use cases, then Autogen works very good. And uh, Autogen also supports a group chat functionality where you can have a manager agent and that manager agent can assign tasks to individual agent and it manages the workflow. So that's how like these three frameworks are. All the three are best as per their use cases. It just we need to select the uh, framework based on our use case. So here you can see uh, a example how exactly the land graph look like. You can see you have a you can see you have a start point then you can see you have a agent this is another node and then you that agent is having feasibility to call the tools and then have a feasibility to end so you can see how exactly the uh, conversation is defined with the help of these ages and that's how the langraph has a more control over building a complex workflows so whenever you have a complex workflows go ahead and select the langraph as a tool but again with langraph you need to be uh, you need to write a lot of code and you need to be very good in writing the code because whenever we are talking about building complex framework again the code behind that is also complex so coming to the autogen as we have seen you can see autogen can easily manage different different agents together and it can distribute the task and you can have manager agent in order to manage that task then in crew ai again you can see you have agent it's llm then a second agent it's llm and you can have a tool integration also you can uh, do a memory management and then you can perform a task and these are the defined tasks and you can get a final outcome so the final outcome of all the agentic framework is same is that you need to break down the problem statement complex problem statement assign individual agent to complete that individual task and get a final task done so it works on the similar principle it just their underlying structure is different it is like learning a python uh, it is like learning a programming language right you can learn any programming language and the uh, base behind the language is same so output that you are going to get out of the programming language is same that you will be writing a code in order to complete a task right it just their syntax will be different their way of writing the code is different. Similarly here, the output of all these agentic framework is same. The goal is same. It's just their underlying structure is different. The way you are calling the agent is different. The way you are handling the conversation between them is different. Okay, let's go ahead and see this particular comparison. So as you can see, uh, Autogen, it is uh, Microsoft's powerful uh, chat-based system. Mostly whenever you want to build a chat-based kind of system, we prefer Autogen and uh, it supports an enterprise workflow. So if you want to build any custom applications for enterprises, definitely Autogen is a good choice. Coming to the Crew AI, uh, it is basically for role-based agentic framework. And uh, if you want to build a quick MVPs, meaning if you want to build a quick minimum viable product, if you want to showcase quick wins, then definitely Crew AI is a good choice. As a beginner, Crew, most of the uh, developers select crew ai as their starting point because building a agentic framework with crew ai is simple as compared to the autogen and lang graph coming to the lang graph you can see it is a graph style management we need to write a nodes and ages we need to define that and uh, that's how we can define the complex workflows and uh, mostly lang graph is suitable whenever you want to deal with a complex workflows Moving ahead, you, uh, as you can see, Crew AI is easy to set up and that's where like most of the developers select this as a, their first preferences. And Autogen and Langraph, they requires bit configurations before use because for Autogen also, you need to set up the Autogen in, and uh, let's say if you want to enable a code execution uh, compatibility, if you want to uh, have a different Docker execution, then Autogen supports that. Similarly, Langraph also supports that and that's the reason uh, some configurations are required. But with Crew AI, the setup is very easy. As it is an independent agentic framework, it, does, it is not dependent on Langraph or any other agentic framework. This is completely an independent framework. Okay, 
Also, I forgot to mention one point. For all these agentic frameworks, you can have a open source model. Also, you can have a paid version models. Like in Crewe, also you can integrate those models. Uh, you can have GPT models integrated. You can have uh, a third party tools like Croc. You can integrate. Then uh, also you can use a Llama models. Similarly, in Autogen and Langgraph, uh, again, it provides the feasibility to use your lo uh, like model from your local. You can use your Llama models. You can use your uh, mo any models from Hugging Fist library or also you can use GPT and uh, the advanced models and same is the case with Langgraph. There is no restrictions from the model perspective. Coming to the final comparison, let's understand which framework uh, is good from uh, the criteria perspective. So if you are thinking from the easy to use perspective, Autogen you can see is a balanced, like it is not too complex and not too easy. Simple framework building is very easy in Autogen, but if you want to build custom application, then you need to be uh, focused on uh, the Autogen and then it becomes a bit, uh, bit tricky. But yeah, uh, again, uh, with this, you can maintain a balance, like you can build complex workflows as well as it is a bit easy to build. With Crewe, you can see it is three star, meaning it is very easy to build. But again, uh, as it is very easy to build, it is a bit lagging in complex workflows and Langgraph, if you can see, it is not uh, easy as compared to these two. Uh, building a comp uh, simple workflow is again very easy in Langgraph, but if you are going one step ahead, uh, the management of tools, the management of uh, handling the conversation is a bit tricky in Langgraph. You need to define all the conditions, like if else conditions, you need to properly define them into the Langgraph or else your communication gets disturbed between the agents. And as your number of agents grows, Langgraph complexity also grows. But that is not the case with Autogen. If your number of agents are growing, may, uh, the management of uh, or the conversation management is very easy in Autogen and CreeUAI. Coming to the memory handling, all the three supports memory handling. With Autogen, again, it maintains a balance. It manages the conversation of charts. It also manages the conversation of like individual conversation between uh, for a user or if there are multiple uh, sessions for single user it can manage that so memory management is uh, pretty good handled in autogen with crew ai it lags in memory management as compared to autogen and langgraph with langgraph memory management is very good because uh, in langgraph you might be uh, knowing that like a lang chain they have their own uh, uh, Python libraries in order to capture the memory and uh, they can capture long term memories as well. Long sequential conversation can be easily captured. That is not the case with Autogen. Uh, in Autogen, after a point, you can, uh, the Autogen can start forgetting the previous past memories. But uh, with Langgraph, definitely that feasibility is there. Coming to the tool usage, Autogen uh, beats the uh, Crew AI and Langgraph because Autogen has a very good feasibility where it can capture the where it can integrate multiple tools you can write uh, custom python functions and it can be easily integrated with the agent you can have uh, different different agents and different tools across this different agent and you no need to actually uh, work on managing that tool integration because autogen uh, provides a very good feasibility where it can easily adapt these tools and it can manage the conversation that is happening and it also decides whether to call that particular tool or not based on the user question but with Crew AI, again, tool integration is like quite good. It maintains a good balance. And similarly with the Langgraph, Langgraph also you can write your Python functions and that it can easily integrate. But again, as I mentioned in Langgraph, you need to manage that ages and the conditions. And the, with the higher number of agents and tools, it becomes a bit complex. And at the end, finally, coming to the workflow design, you can see Autogen again is manages a balanced workflow design. You can build complex workflows as well. Crew AI is not good for complex workflows. Langgraph is good for complex workflows. So if you total see Autogen uh, out of 12, it has 9 out of 12 stars. Crew AI, it has 7 out of 12 stars. And Langgraph has again uh, 9 out of 12 stars. So Autogen and Langgraph are on the same line. But if you see, in most of the cases, Autogen never you can you can see right it is easy to use it is memory handling is also possible tool usage is also possible workflow design is also very good and that is where autogen is beating the crew AI and Langgraph in the uh, enterprises because most of the enterprises uh, are like to build their agent framework with the help of autogen because it provides very good workflow design it is easy in building also it has a strong tool usage as well as memory is also managed uh, properly in autogen and uh, 
but yeah like based on your use case based on your interest there is no hard rule that you should go for autogen crew ai or langraph if you are really new if you are, don't have much coding experience definitely go ahead and start with crew ai once you get to know about how agentic frameworks we can build how the agent conversation works then you can go one step ahead you can start using autogen if you are learning autogen then no need to go for langraph as well but if you want after crew ai you can start learning langraph as well but if you are good in coding you can directly jump to langraph one point uh, i want to talk about langraph is uh, as langraph uh, comes under the lang chain and i have seen that they keep upgrading their libraries and most of their tools functionality their agent conversation functionalities right they keep deprecating that in a month or uh, within a 2 3 months there are a lot of upgrades that are happening but uh, autogen is kind of a stable as it is developed by microsoft there is no deprecation uh, issues that i have seen as of now but yeah uh, so uh, there is no hard and fast rule as i mentioned earlier uh, based on your use case we should select the framework and at the end what matters is the uh, solution that you are building and how that solution you can easily scale that is what it matters So, if you want to learn Autogen, then I have already covered the playlist. You can go ahead and check out that playlist. The link is available in the description below. So, yeah, that's all for this particular video. I hope you really enjoy this particular video. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you so much.